why not fly a helicopter yeah. over one of the busiest airports in the world? In this video, I'm bringing you behind the scenes on a three-day trip from Newark to London and back. While we're there, I'm going to show you some of my favorite rooftops. We're going to go even higher than that and take a doors off helicopter tour. This is going to be fun. You ready? Let's go. My name is Paul. I fly airplanes for a living, but my passion is encouraging you to explore this beautiful world by giving you a glimpse into my layover life. Today I'm taking a much later flight than I normally do when I go to work. We had a design meeting at home. We're doing some remodeling, so we had to, I had to be there for that. I still have two flights to get me to work on time, which is what we're required to have, but I probably won't get a nap when I get to Newark. Fortunately, my flight had plenty of open seats, so I could take a nap on the plane. After I sat down, but before I fell asleep, I ordered a salad from Farmer's Fridge to pick up after I arrived. <laughs> Even though we can order our crew meals ahead of time, it's not necessarily a guarantee of what you're gonna get. And I kind of like to know exactly what I'm gonna eat. So I like to bring my own food. Okay, time to go grab a coffee and then it's time to go. What's up you guys? Hi. Hey, how's it going? Paul. Alexis. Alexis, good to see you again. Brandon, Brandon, Paul, nice to see you too. You guys doing all right? Yeah. How's your day going so far? Good. After looking at the flight plan, we headed out to the plane, briefed the flight attendants, and then we were off to London. Gander Radio, Gander United 940. United 940, Gander Radio, station cell call for check. Cell call check, okay, United 940, thank you. Let's call the cell call check and it tests our HF radio, which is what air traffic control would use to get a hold of us if they needed to when we're over the ocean. I was on the third break, which I love, because 45 minutes after I woke up, we were on the ground in London. This is my third trip to London in a row, and being a junior trip, I come here a lot. The first officer, however, it was her, I think it's her third or fourth trip since training, and it was fun to hear her talk about how excited she was. We were in a holding pattern coming into London, and we were following an Emirates Airbus 380. There was like two of us just right following each other, which is really neat. Um, and you know, you can get frustrated by going into a holding pattern, but she was like, it was like one of the coolest things she's ever seen. And then in London, we take an elevator down to the ramp and then we get on a bus and we kind of go under the airport, go through customs and then out to uh, a different bus to come to the hotel, which is kind of a pain, but she was saying how she kind of felt like she was, you know, behind the scenes and like at Disney World, you know how the princesses drive around underneath the park. She felt like a princess and we we're like backstage or whatever. So it was fun to hear that kind of stuff and a good reminder of how awesome this job is. We're gonna go do something cool later, but I need a nap. So a couple hours and we're off to explore London. First stop today is the Citizen M Hotel. There's a rooftop bar on the seventh floor. It's located at the Tower Hill tube stop. The rooftop bar has sweeping views of the city, including the Tower of London and Tower Bridge. I love showing people around a city they've never been to before. One of the best things about the Cloud M bar is the view, because not only do you have a front row seat to the Tower of London, but... Did you know you can see the Eiffel Tower from here? Are you serious? Yeah, right there. That's how close we are. Yeah, no, that's it. Are you serious? Yeah. Are you serious? No, it's not. That's really thin. That's it. Well, it's a long way away. Far away we are. There's no. Yeah, you can see farther up here. <laughs> Around the roof, you can see forever. Well, then what are we doing in London? Let's go to Paris. Because uh, the Earth is flat. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, that's called the Crystal Palace, and it's like a radio antenna. 
Well, that's a lot less overwhelming than the tower. <laughs> The sun was starting to set, so we left the Citizen M and made our way to a new rooftop garden that I'd been wanting to check out. There are a handful of rooftop gardens in London. However, most of them require a ticket, even if it's free. They're usually booked out several weeks or months in advance. However, the garden at 120, which is where we're headed next, requires no reservation and it's free and it's only a couple steps from the Citizen M. You can't bring your own drinks to the garden at 120, but you can go down one level to the 14th floor and buy drinks at the bar and sit and watch the sunset, which is what I think we're about to do. Cheers, you guys. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for a fun night. Yeah. One of the best parts of this job, and I've said this before, is the people. I've got some awesome people with me, Alexis and Brandon. Tomorrow morning, I'm going flying, a stranger from the internet, I'm going up in a helicopter over London. Like, it's crazy. We'll see you then. What's this called? Wickham Air Park. Wickham Air Park. Wickham Air Park. Near London. With, London. With okay. my new friend Carl. We met on Instagram, I don't know, over a year ago, I think. Yeah, it's about that. Yeah. And uh, we're finally going up in a helicopter. We're going up in this R44. Let's go inside. We'll look at the map. And then it's time to go see London. And we're going to fly along these heli routes uh, into town, around here, past a place called Northold, a Royal Air Force Northold. And then down to Perivale, uh, head down to Kew Bridge, cross the River Thames, at which point we're really quite low because you can see Heathrow Airport right here, and they're in westerly operation today, so they've got aircraft landing from here this way. So we'll be heading up the river into town as landing traffic into Heathrow is only about a thousand feet above us going the other way, so that should hopefully be quite cool. And we'll fly this all the way up into town, Wolf's Bridge, where you guys stay in town, and then when we get to London Bridge, we'll do a little Yui, have a look at the tower, do a bit of sightseeing and make our way back. That's what a theory. It's quite busy airspace, so if they're too busy, they won't let us in. But we'll ask the question and hopefully you see what we'll happens. There you go. That's the plan. Clear left, clear right. T's and P's, top of the green to no lights. Probably made it apart, don't they? Lima India, wing calm. <laughs> I've not done that. I've not done that. Um, so you've got that ahead of me, definitely. I've not jumped out. <laughs> uh, I still firmly believe that one should stick with the piece of yeah. equipment you're flying rather than <laughs> abandoning it midair and just sort of jumping out and hoping everything's going to be okay because of a piece of cloth. But uh, yeah, um, good on you for doing that. Where did you do it? I did it when I was in college in, in Minnesota. I, I flew skydivers and all of a sudden the skydive pilots got to jump for free. And uh, so I saw it as an opportunity to get another license. <laughs> so I only made like 40 jumps and I got my license. And 40 jumps more it. than I have. <laughs> you absolute maniac. <laughs> as we made our way closer to the city, we still needed our clearance into the airspace over London. Golf Lima India, remain outside. Just contact North Alpha Zone entry now, please. 126 decibel 450. 126 450. Northold approach, hello, helicopter golf, Oscar Hotel, Lima, India. About two miles north of Northwood, looking for entry. Golf Oscar Hotel, Lima, India, Northold approach, identified, clear to enter control of airspace at Northwood, reaching H9H10, standard operating altitude, London QNH 1017, radar control, VFR on entry, basic service outside. Thank you very much, clear to enter at Northwood, standard operating altitude on H9H10H4, and, uh, a uh, radar control service, uh, Golf uh, Lima, India. Uh, QNH 1017. We're in. 
Awesome. Awesome. So, so, that, so that just approved us for the whole route that we had uh, they talked have. about earlier. Which is bloody brilliant. Yeah. With our clearance received, we now had permission to get a bird's eye view of the most iconic sights London has to offer. Westminster, the London Eye, the Shard, and of course, Tower Bridge. India now returning uh, from London Bridge, my hotel port. Golf off, go ahead, Tau Lima India, Roger, report passing Chelsea Bridge. Welcome to Chelsea Bridge, Golf Lima India. Golf Romeo Bravo Hotel Fox. How's that, man? Dude. Good day, sir. I mean, it doesn't get better than this. Many thanks, Golf Hotel Fox. I have to pinch myself occasionally that we get to do this. Yeah, this is wild. being a capital city right and it being one of the the major sort of world capitals right and a working seat of government and you get to fly right over these right. places it's, um, <laughs> you know in a post 9 11 age it's it's it's, it's really incredible. special it's very special yeah and, and i guess they don't you know they don't allow everybody to do it so. right little did i know this flight was about to get even more special than it already was so there you go, there's Heathrow again. Wow. Um, I was tempted to say, let's sneak over and see if we can do it, but I just... Uh, actually, let's ask. I got off the hotel in India. Uh, we have a request if possible at all. Good in India, pass your request. I got off the hotel in India. If you'd be interested in having a look at Heathrow, uh, if that's okay. Good in India, Roger, India, I'm still need to speak to Heathrow radar. Can you hold at Guthridge, please? Hold the gutter, thank you very much, Gold Hotel in India. So if they approve it, how close do we get to Heathrow? Close. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've never done it, so we'll see. <laughs> Perfect. This will be a very unique look at work. And why not fly a helicopter over one of the busiest airports in the world? <laughs> <laughs> Seems like a good idea at the time. <laughs> <laughs> Within a minute or two, we were approved to parallel the runways at London Heathrow. Copy, Mindy cleared route south again to H9 and then route to, to join Hotel 2, clear submit either. Okay, thank you very much. Heading south, Hotel 9, airport for Hotel 2, then north on Hotel 2, clear submit either. Go for Hotel Lima India. Correct. Yes, man! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this is, this is incredible. Uh, absolutely bonkers. <laughs> this is, I, yeah, well, this is one for the books. Well, Carl, what have you done today? Well, <laughs> I bust Heathrow Tower. <laughs> Tom Cruise, who? <laughs> you wouldn't think two airline pilots who fly in and out of London on a regular basis would be so excited about something like this. But there's something different about doing it in a helicopter versus an airliner. I'm probably flying one of those airplanes back here in about five hours. There's literally an Airbus rotating next to us. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, Iberia going, going for it. With that bucket list item checked off, we made our way back to Wickham Air Park. That was, without a doubt, probably one of the coolest things I've done on a layover. It's pos positively one of the coolest things I've ended up doing. <laughs> Thank you so sure. much. No, really good day. Wow, this was amazing. So you got to go close to Heathrow, which yes. you've never done before. Nope, that was that was literally just asking, will you let us? And, yeah. and, and foolishly they said yes. Yeah. So, yeah. Which goes to show, you are never you, you never know what will happen if you ask. It's always been a theory of mine throughout aviation. Some, some caveats to that, but, but yes, yes. <laughs> some caveats. Yes. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go grab a burger, and then a couple hours, I'm headed back to New York, and then on to home. That sounds like hard work. 
It does sound like hard work. <laughs> we'll see you on the airplane. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon from the Flight Tech, your captain speaking. We'd like to welcome you on board United Flight 941 with service now to New York. Once we're in New York today, seven hours and seven minutes. Should be a very nice, smooth flight on our arrival into New York. Mostly cloudy skies, temperature of 27 degrees centigrade, which is 80 degrees Fahrenheit. If there's anything we can do to make your flight more enjoyable today, please don't hesitate to ask. From all of us at United, welcome on board. Enjoy your flight. I'm incredibly thankful for the opportunities this career brings, but I wouldn't be able to do it without you, the traveler. Whether you're a family on vacation, a business person heading to your next meeting, or a crew member heading to work. Whether you're traveling for a birth, a death, a graduation. Every journey has a story and it's an honor to be part of yours. And it'll be a pleasure to bring you home. In this video, I'm a in this video, I'm bringing you on a three-day trip. Everything looks good. Sweet. You guys are great actors. <laughs> Wait, should I do it again? I didn't stand up when I shook your hand. You're the best. I'm like, do I have to press anything? No, you don't have to press anything. <laughs> this is my third trip to London in a row. And it's a pretty junior trip, so I come here a lot. But the first officer, so that the actual London Bridge like was moved from here to Nevada, and it's near uh, Lake Powell or Lake Mead or whatever the big lake is. Uh, Havasu. Yeah. Near Havasu, I think. How do they move a bridge? Uh, it's boats and trains. Automobiles. <laughs> that's not a joke. That's like a real thing. I'm gonna have to fact check that. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> All right, come on, work it. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Thank you, sir. <laughs> let's hope, um, let's hope all this has worked out. Oh, I'm sure it has. <laughs> <laughs> 